Hello everyone. In this video, we will be learning about atoms. Now you would have seen a mason building a wall. And from those walls, he makes a room and a collection of rooms to form a huge building. Now what do you think is this whole building made up of? Yes, it is made up of bricks. So we can say that a brick is a building block of a huge building. Now in the same way, you might have seen ants carrying grains of sand to make an ant hill. Now the building block of this ant hill is therefore a grain of sand. Now we call a brick and a grain of sand as a building block of a building and an ant hill because these two things are made up of bricks and sand respectively. In the same way, Everything that we see around is made up of extremely small particles which we call as atoms. Now I said everything is made up of atoms which means starting from a small coin to football, chair, even huge things like a Taj Mahal and even the earth itself where we live is made up of atoms. In fact, the sun, stars and other planets are also made up of atoms. Now you must be wondering here that what are we humans and other living things like plants, animals and birds made up of? Now let me tell you here that these living things are made up of something called cells and cells are called the smallest living unit. Now these cells are further made up of many atoms or different kinds of atoms. So we can conclude here that all the living things are also made up of atoms. And here we can say that everything whether living or non-living is made up of atoms. Now here uh, a bunch of items that I have listed look very different from each other, right? But just now I said everything is made up of atoms. The reason behind uh, their different looks is that these objects are either made up of different kinds of atoms or combination of different atoms and that's the reason why they look different from each other. Now let's look at this aluminium foil. Now when we zoom in a small part of this aluminium foil we find a bunch of aluminium atoms sticking together. Similarly a coal piece or um, a coal piece which is made up of carbon is made up of carbon atoms like this. Similarly, the gold bars are made up of gold atoms like this. Now let us look at this aluminium foil at a certain detail. Now aluminium foil as I said a portion a small portion of aluminium foil was made up of a bunch of aluminium atoms. Now let us try to break this piece of aluminium. Now when we break it we have two smaller pieces of aluminium but still it is aluminium it has not transformed to something else. Now when we repeat this process again and again we arrive at the smallest particle of which this aluminium foil piece was made up of and this smallest particle has all the chemical and physical properties exactly the same like the whole bunch of aluminium atoms here and this smallest thing we call as an atom of aluminium and the bunch of atoms that we had before is called an element of aluminium. So we can say that an element of aluminium has all the atoms which are aluminium atoms and not any foreign atom. So we define an element and an atom like this. That is an element refers to a pure substance which has only one kind of atoms. And an atom is the smallest constituent unit of matter that has all the properties of that element fr from where it comes. Now as I said atoms are smallest constituent unit of matter. But how small an atom is? Let's check out. Now let's have the same aluminium foil. Now here we all know how thin an aluminium foil is. Let us now zoom in this edge of this aluminium foil and this edge is also made up of a large number of aluminium atoms stacked together. The thickness of this thin foil has 
millions of atoms of aluminium stacked together. So we can see, we can imagine how small an atom could be so that millions of atoms can fit in this small or thin edge of aluminium foil. Now to measure the size of such small particles or extremely small atoms, we have separate units like a nanometer. Now we measure anything related to the length, uh, length of atoms or the size of atoms or atomic radius, everything is measured in terms of nanometers. Now what is this nanometer? A nanometer is 10 power 9th part of 1 meter or we can say that it is 10 power minus 9 meters. So this small an atomic size could be. Now this was all about atoms and I hope you like this video. Thank you. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.